sixth edition of Egypt Can Conference uh, will be held in Cairo under the title Egypt Can with Industry on March 27th and 28th under the patronage of President Abdel Fattah Sisi. The event is organized by the Ministry of Immigration and Egyptian Expatriates Affairs in cooperation with the Ministries of Trade and Industry, Public Business Sector and Military Production along with the Arab Organization for Industrialization and the General Authority for Investment. Eight sessions will be held as part of the conference to discuss a group of industrial areas including industrial investment, future of industry between Egypt and Africa, artificial intelligence, future industries, auto and environment friendly industries, medical industries and food industries. It will also discuss green industry in light of Egypt's preparations to host the UN Climate Change Conference 2022, COP27 in November. Egypt can with industry conferences held in line with the Egyptian state's visions and the importance attached by the political leadership to the industry file. It also comes in implementation of presidential directives to boost local industry and make use of the Egyptians' expertise in this field. To that end, and as part of the government's three axes action plan for industrial development in Upper Egypt, Minister of Trade and Industry Naveen Gema has stated that the government almost completed the development of 20 industrial zones in Upper Egypt at a financial cost of about £2.8 billion. With regards to water sewage, electricity, energy and communications networks. As part of the plan's first access, the government also conducts infrastructure rehabilitation and development of four industrial zones within the framework of the local development program for Upper Egypt, which is being implemented in cooperation with the World Bank and the Ministry of Local Development. The minister revealed that the total amount spent so far to this end has been approximately 3.2 billion Egyptian pounds. Gema noted that the second axis of the action plan includes identifying the most important opportunities and projects available for industrial investment in Upper Egypt, which amounts to 234 opportunities, most of which are medium projects whose investment cost ranges between 1 million and 25 million pounds. The Minister of Trade and Industry added that the third axis of the Ministry's action plan includes completing the offering system for industrial complexes in Upper Egypt, which includes 10 industrial complexes that provide 2,628 industrial units. In light of the government's keen interest in promoting competitiveness, innovation and sustainability in smart cities and industrial zones, Egypt and the United Nations Industrial Development Organization have signed an agreement to develop eco-friendly industrial zones. The agreement will support the Egyptian government to improve the economic, social and environmental performance of industrial zones, as well as Egypt's industrial policies and legislation. The sustainable industrial zones contribute to attracting more local and foreign industrial investments, providing jobs while preserving the environment and facilitating the transition towards a green industry and economy by reducing greenhouse gas emissions. In figures, the Egyptian industry achieved many positive indicators in 2021, where industrial growth rate rose by 6.5% in the fiscal year 2020-21 and contributed by 17% in GDP. The Minister of Trade and Industry said that the industrial sector contributed to providing thousands of job opportunities in 2021 despite difficult circumstances and challenges faced by the global economy. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, starting up our discussion with Dr. Semi. Now, Doctor, before we start talking about the Egypt Can with Industry Conference uh, that will be slated for the 27th and 28th, let's looking at the industrial sector. Now, the industrial sector since 2011 has been knocked down hard and um, the productivity hasn't been up to the expected uh, standard and expected level. However, over the past year, it recorded a 6.5% growth, industrial sector. Uh, constitutes 17% of GDP. Now, before we start talking about the future, how did we manage 6.5% of growth during the, far, uh, the last fiscal year? And was it about the uh, 
the level or the the amount of productivity was it about uh, exporting uh, less importing how did this uh, formula work um, thank you very much for raising uh, this last 10 years and what uh, we went through during the uh, uh, the journey uh, to give you some insights about what was there at 2010 at that time the ministry of uh, uh, industry uh, was developing what we call the technology innovation center the tic this technology innovation center started to define pillars for technological development in the industry by itself moving forward to the new era and it started with the 2016 2017 actually they started to redefine the strategy of the industry in egypt and thanks uh, for our uh, uh, partners and partnering countries that they help us the, to develop the uh, strategy of the manufacturing and strategy of the industry in Egypt and they formulated like a five years strategy and that's in that time and all these strategies were depending on innovation and to define a key pillars where the industry was moving forward not just only in Egypt but to have it and in the global position and having this in the global position it means that we work in what we call the global positioning mm -hmm. so global is the mix between global plus local part uh, out of this part about developing an innovation management system we had uh, what we call the um, innovation industry award which is promoting the companies and incentivizing the companies to develop their application and their solutions and their products and as well as and to do what we call linkages with exporting model as well and it was very very successful model uh, industry is one of the main pillars of the triangle of the economic development when you talk about economic economic development we have three components the industry the agribusiness and the services mm -hmm. and in those three areas Egypt is taking serious steps to moving ahead of this of this part so how this was managed to be in in this area um, a new group of uh, incentives uh, laws industrial zones uh, are coming in uh, joint ventures and activities with key partners and industry leaders tech transfers to the, to egypt as well uh, exporting human capital where people were going to move or are going to uh, have a, 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 get a greater position in the global uh, uh, presence. This is um, mainly the forward steps we took in that, in that direction. Not even like that, but to link that with the expats, the expats of the Egyptian uh, living abroad, either in the academia or the businesses as well. And then let's invite them back to come to Egypt and where we can say that this is the role of Egypt can for industry 2022. Mm -hmm. So in a nutshell, we developed the strategy. There is a, 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 a rigorous strategy in the direction, followed by um, a solid action plan in different directions, promoting innovation as well, defining key industries where Egypt is leading or can take a position in the global presence mm -hmm. these are the pillars or these are the components where we can head to the future yes well you've mentioned uh, the main three uh, things that uh, economy uh, an economy really depends on the industrial the services uh, the and the agriculture now how much of the industrial sector is uh, dependent on the public sector and the private sector i mean when we talk about SMEs and we talk about startups and entrepreneurs, they usually start working um, mainly in the services sector. So when we, when we talk about the industrial sector, are we talking about um, a, a mainly dominated uh, sector by the public uh, owned uh, companies and factories or is it more of the private ones? Fantastic. It is about what we call the triple P, mm -hmm. the public private partnership. And when we talk about the, the public-private partnership, the public uh, um, entities or manufacturers are doing a, a very good position in that. Yet, the most important part is about the, the promoting the private sector as well. And promoting the private sector, we have a lot of initiatives coming in to incentivize those uh, uh, companies and even SMEs, small and medium enterprises, to kick in and to promote and to start to work on that. Uh, Initiatives coming from the Ministry of Industry, 
initiatives coming from the Central Bank of Egypt to promote uh, the banking transactions and all these things. Uh, and we witnessed the, His Excellency the President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi when he uh, was clearly mentioning about the quality of uh, imports and quality mm -hmm. of exports as well. And uh, uh, we witnessed that this will make a, a, a leap in the, in the exports in, in the Egyptian economy as well. So, um, dealing with the whole value chain is extremely important. Defining the industrial zones based on the local capacity of each sector or building the economic and industrial clusters. Mm -hmm. And it's worth mentioning, uh, Haney, that uh, Egypt started to develop what we call the industrial innovation and investment map. Mm -hmm. where if you are an investor and you can browse the map of Egypt, pick any city and you click on that city, you will receive uh, a, an information about what are the local industries that can you invest in this area. And what does this type of industry it requires in terms of manpower, in terms of energy, in terms of equipment for instance. So it gives you this map, the industrial uh, um, investment map is uh, a brilliant uh, solution where we can tackle and try to attract the foreign investment in this in this uh, different areas based on the local resource, which is the most important part because we need to close the gap between having local resources, access to markets, and the transportation, and we witnessed this uh, major shift in, in public transport network, the, the, the railways, the, the motivation in, uh, that we had, and the, the, even the, the crossroads that we already uh, witnessed for the last period. All these elements are basic infrastructure to develop the industrial system uh, in Egypt as well. Mm -hmm. Well, this map, it would definitely be helpful for the foreign investor. Would it be also, an, it will probably as well be uh, beneficial for the local investor but the foreign investor would find it maybe a bit easier if he is investing from his own country into another country so he will establish his business and investment within uh, according to that map and his product would the local investor as well find it easy to relocate his assets would relocate his capital relocate his factories and workers and laborers to another area where uh, the map has said well this would be a, a good uh, place for this industry and we're basically talking about the localization of the industrial sector perfect exact match uh, the localization of industries and uh, localization and for technology and technology transfers these are the major elements in the IDA which is the IDA is the industry development agency mm -hmm. for instance uh, the IDA uh, gives some incentives actually very generic uh, very generous incentives if you'd like to relocate your industry for instance in Sinai for instance, they give you some incentives that will promote people to work and that transfer your knowledge, starting to build up an industry in this different industrial zone in, in Sinai per, per se, for instance. So this is, is exactly in place. Uh, we have, uh, for instance, Upper Egypt, we have in Asyut, the new uh, Asyut, the new Sohag, all these new cities started to attract this part of the uh, 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 industrial zone as well with a lot of in, uh, incentives to attract local and as well as foreign investment as well in these areas. Mm -hmm. well, what about the, um, I mean, having this Egypt can with industry. Now, we already, as you've mentioned, have these sort of goals and this sort of clear strategy and path. What about this conference? What can it add to uh, this sector? What can we do? Are there more prospects or potential agreements or deals to be made? Uh, maybe a change or uh, an adaptation uh, of uh, the already existing strategies? Um, part of the, the objectives about the Egypt can for industry is to mix and match between uh, the Egypt uh, uh, resources that we have right now, uh, strategies that is going to be formed or reformed, mm -hmm. as well as the, the expats coming out of that. Mm -hmm. For instance, you, you have like a businessman, he started his, his business in Egyptian, he started his business for instance in Canada or in Europe or something like that. 
invited this gentleman to come mm -hmm. in and see how we can utilize the efforts and connecting dots together uh, with this with with the sport for instance if he is deploying a new technology in his area so why not to come up and to localize this technology in egypt if he is losing some of the resources for instance supplies uh, or feeding of the feeding industries we can develop this part of the value chain so redesigning the value chain of this industry can add on to that part of it it's about linkages mm -hmm. again uh, 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 fostering uh, the era of new product development as well um, if we look to the uh, industry that uh, um, Egypt can uh, is covering uh, textile for instance one of those areas pharmaceutical industry healthcare industry technology as well automotive industry so these are uh, uh, labor intensive uh, with technology intensive as well so it is directed to utilize all the resources that we have right now in Egypt to be heading to the future mm -hmm. so uh, uh, start with end in mind for innocent what did we reach in the global position we need to all invite these uh, 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 moves to come in and to initiate a new potential of activities coming in this area um, series of workshops are going to take place in this area inviting the SMEs and inviting the Egyptian entrepreneurs working abroad mm -hmm is one of the elements by, by the way is there because it's not just only about services but it is all about another uh, industries for instance we had like groups in uh, doing very good uh, activities in uh, recycling businesses uh, in, in a fintech which is financial technologies doing things about in robotics so these are a new era that we are going to uh, develop or going to demand on that for the future. Mm -hmm. And obviously creating enough incentives for these Egyptian expatriates uh, with their own businesses to come back and invest here. Definitely and this is the hello signal that this conference is going to highlight and going to give. Hello we are here, we are here with strong appetite, we have, we have all the potential for you right now. Come and just tell us what are the needs, mm -hmm. what you need to do to develop in this area. And usually if we uh, uh, scan the, 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 the Egypt uh, can uh, um, previous uh, version or previous mm -hmm. editions um, usually we have those type of expats they come in and sit in mix and match with the local partners or local industry or local potential for instance Egypt for education they sit together back to back with the education sector in the industry where they will do the same and then they have uh, to meet with his excellency the president to give uh, His Excellency, their insights, their recommendations, as well as what will be the next plan. Also, raising the flag that the hello signal again that we already would like to love and come back to invest in Egypt as well. So, moving the transfer of the technology back to Egypt is part of it. Also, going to the internationalization, we need to take our industry to the global market. So, this will be the linkages per component I'm telling about. What about the, uh, the industrial zones and the international economic uh, zones? I mean, along the Suez Canal alone, we have uh, European, we have Asian economic zones. And obviously, with the new cities and the localization of the industries all over Egypt, when will we actually start seeing and witnessing uh, the fruit and the, the, the operation, mega operations of these great national mega projects and the industrial zones. I mean, we are going now through um, a turbulent time politically and economically around the world. Is this a, a good time for Egypt to really grasp uh, this opportunity with both hands and start practically just get these businesses into these industrial and economic zones that we've already signed the agreements for? Yes, of course, definitely. We have the free zones. We have almost all over covering Egypt, seven to nine free zones that you can work on that. A part of it, there is some sort of discussions that this type of free zones is not um, going to be limited to a specific district or area. Mm -hmm. For instance, if you're going to decide, uh, I would like to have this part in my apartment to be a free zone, so I can produce something like that with the international trade, you can do this. So this part of a major shift in the concepts and definition is under the study right now mm -hmm. and it will move forward in this direction. Back to your question, when we're going to harvest all this type of investment and all this type of collaboration, mm -hmm. the world 
uh, went through a very tough time since 2020, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And the, the world-class uh, uh, companies right now is questioning some sort of industry. For instance, the automotive industry is questioning a lot of uh, uh, um, like exclamation mark about how we're going to move with the semiconductor businesses. So again, the automotive industry have been affected by the telecom and the electronics industry due to the semiconductors and the lack of the supply and so on and so forth. And recently, we know what's going on in the world right now, a couple of days ago, and the rise, the expected rise in the oil and gas and all of these things. So it's a very challenging position, mm -hmm. yet it's a brilliant way to think differently, uh, what we call thinking out of the box, how we can attract all this type of uh, um, I mean, opportunities, again, to come to start working in Egypt. This will require that we have another looking glass to think of it, to see the positive side, how we can fast move, how we can fast react on this type of challenges worldwide affected with other neighbor countries so that we can attract and we can again provide them a very well, uh, uh, like a cultural engagement uh, to raise this type of industry again and again. We have all the requirements. We have infrastructure, we have labor, we have machineries, okay? So the last mile, which about hooking things together, mm -hmm. uh, this is again, uh, um, a, it should take place in, in a very uh, um, a short time. I'm a strongly believer in the leadership of the country um, uh, is taking care of this uh, portfolio very much so, uh, when, especially when we talk about industry, technology, and innovation. These are the key components and supported by youth, by the way, because yes. the youth is, is your uh, driving force to move forward in that direction. Yes, definitely. Well, Egypt is leading the way in actually not just uh, the industrial sector alone, but the localization of the industrial sector and the production of electrical uh, vehicles here in Egypt, really going for a greener economy, a greener energy. Let's check out this report and we'll be right back.